This is super exciting for me because this is the first time I ever was able to purchase a bag from Hermes. This bag is so mangled by the way because it rained so hard. It's Vancouver, of course. Those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Amy. I'm from Vancouver and oh my goodness, it rains so, so super hard. We had a huge umbrella, but even then the bag got soaking wet and it's really, really mangled. Anyway, without further ado, let's reveal and unbox some of these things. Uh, let me reveal this to you first because um, if you are one of my members, then you would have already seen an early reveal of this on the luxury live show. And so here we have it. Yes, I bought another hat from Hermes. I am just so in love with their hats. They make really, really beautiful designs and um, they just feel very, very well made and the price are very reasonable for what they are. It has palladium hardware right here with Hermes stamped on it. It has some leather right here in the front and the rest of the cap is wool. And actually I noticed one day that it was actually folded underneath here. So all around the hat is actually um, has leather lining or leather trims, but I don't know if you actually pull this down and then wear it. I mean, I could try it for you like this. I guess you could, like you could pull down that part here. Don't really need that part to be pulled down anyway. So I just wear it as is like that, fold it in. And then the front part is the part that really is extended. And then you can really see the leather detailing. But yeah, I love, love, love. And I love that it's navy color tag on it. And like I said, this was called the Danny Cap and it is in marine color and black color. So the black part is the leather part. And here is the style code if you're interested. The little H motif lining here. It's very subtle, but it doesn't really matter. It's just, you know, a nice little detail, which like I said, I just love hats so much. They uh, definitely suit me well. I love that this one is not super structured on the top, so it doesn't look so serious. It's still a little, um, it's still a little casual, but you know, is slightly different and goes so well with my overall aesthetic. So this is a wishlist item that I had uh, told my essay that I was interested. It was right around my birthday. I was actually pretty specific about the color just cause I wanted to match uh, one pair of the shoe color that I own from Hermes. And um, I thought also that this style would be a good choice of bag to just have a that kind of color uh, because I normally wouldn't go for that kind of color. So anyway, let's unbox it together and uh, I'll tell you guys uh, why I ended up uh, taking it anyway. Of course, I'm super happy that my essay thought of me when this bag came in. Uh, these are not super easy to get still. I'm sure those of you who are familiar will probably already know what it is but I think the color and uh, the choice of uh, this combination is where uh, is the exciting part for me at least. I wonder if you would have guessed uh, the combination that I got um, that I completely fell in love with when I saw it. I, I just couldn't say no to it basically. Are you guys ready? <laughs> to reveal, we see some handles, yes, yes. They are not the usual handles. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, I have to take out all the packaging and everything. So this bag is called Picotin Lock 18. My version is in black uh, alligator touch. So you see a touch of alligator exotic skin on the handle part. So the whole handle even the underneath part of here is all um, alligator skin. And uh, I don't know if you see what I see. Let's put the lock on it because it doesn't do its justice uh, unless you have the whole thing in front of you. So you do get uh, the lock and keys. And yes, it came in palladium hardware for this particular one that I ended up taking home. Yes, it has feet. This was the outfit that I um, dressed up in when I went to buy the bag. And 
I, I just, I mean, I completely fell in love with it. Obviously, it does match with my whole aesthetic already. I love bucket bags already. I have a Chanel one. I can do a just a quick side-by-side -side for you guys. But the moment I saw this, the, the first thought that I had was, wow, how elegant and simple it is. But if it was just the plain black version, I would still love, of course, even though that's not the color that I asked for, I actually asked for the gold color because I really wanted to um, incorporate a little bit more of the tan caramel color into my wardrobe. I normally don't gravitate towards browns as much, but I was willing and I actually wanted this bag, which was on my wish list, to be in the tan caramel color, hence the gold color. But um, this came in and I just couldn't say no to because this is... <laughs> This is even better because uh, on its own, it's beautiful. And I think on its own in the regular version without the exotic skin touch, I would prefer it in a, a brighter color. But because it is black, and I think for this bag, if it was just plain black, I wouldn't like it as much. But because it does have the accent with the alligator skin, I think it makes this bag so much more special and just pops so much more. Um, so... Of course, it does add to the cost of it, but I figure I'm never really going to buy a full exotic bag anyway, and this is probably uh, the most reasonable way to get some exotic accents um, on a bag that makes the bag look even more interesting, especially in the color black and palladium, because now it not only looks elegant, but it also looks so cool. Here's a side-by-side uh, -side comparison of my Chanel bucket bag. This was from, my goodness, I forget the season codes now, but this was uh, from a year or a year and a half ago. It was a seasonal, uh, it was a seasonal piece in caviar and I absolutely love this bag. This bag is great, obviously, and it's Chanel. I, I love my Chanel's and it's not going anywhere, but of course, some days you just don't want any logos. This is more logo forward. This is not at all. Now, I did say that I asked about this bag since June, which is why I already came prepared. I already have an organizer for this bag a long time ago from the one and only Samorga. So thank you to Samorga for always providing me the best organizers and accessories for my handbags. Uh, but as you can see, this one is in a color that is closer to the gold color, right? It's kind of in the warm tones uh, because that's what I was asking and anticipating getting or hoping to get. Uh, but you know what? It's fine because it's just the inside. I just want to be able to protect this bag. This bag is very much known for its sagging around the bottom corner especially even if you don't like using an organizer when you are carrying the bag which is an option i do that with my chanel 19 a lot i still want something to really stuff the bag uh every corner of the bag when it's in storage so before i put it in i just wanted to let you know that they have three versions of the organizers for the picotin uh, style. So they have this one which I chose. This one is the two millimeter felt. So they're classic felt with raw edges. So what I mean by raw edges is that the top here is not folded in and sewn. So it's just the raw edge of the fabric. Clemence leather which is uh, known to be a very soft leather in many many reviews and just on Instagram. This part of the bag on the corners will start sagging and start having creases which I want to avoid as much as I can and also just having protection for the inside because as you know the inside of the picotin being the most um, one of the more affordable bags from uh, Hermes is that it's unlined so this part is just the suede part of the Clemence leather and then of course on the bottom you see the Hermes stamp. The other two versions that are available, one is without pockets with their four millimeter felt, so it's even thicker than this. It's double the thickness of this. And a third version is just the same two millimeter felt, but with the folded edge. 
I've just added the lock back and as you can see this is the final look with the organizer inside and like I said my bag is still brand spanking new but it really makes a difference I think long term uh, just based on my experience with all my organizers from Samorga. In fact, I even got one for my uh, classic flap finally because um, of course I didn't anticipate buying a classic flap on my for my birthday this year but I just pulled the trigger because this color came along so um, I also ended up adding one for the classic flap in the very same color way. So, light gray color and for the classic flap uh, because of its structure already i just decided to go with their thinnest felt the one that provides the least structure uh, so the weakest felt but that's all i need i didn't want to take up any more space than it needs so this one is their 1.2 millimeter felt and it has one added slip pocket and it's just the perfect uh, protection for my bag long term so i will link all of these styles that i picked for my bag in the description down below obviously there is no worry about space in this bag whatsoever uh, i mean i'll just show you that my large size phone it just fits right in <laughs> it's standing up right now but i can just flatten it out it will just fit right in i feel like especially for this combo the exotic touch it already is a statement on its own i don't feel like it needs any bells or whistles but i do know that there are people who adds uh, straps to the uh, metal parts here to make it even more practical uh, i just don't see myself needing that at the moment i i may change my mind later but as of right now i just feel like this is such a great addition to my uh, hopefully soon to grow collection of Hermes leather goods. For those of you who are wondering, it does come with its own uh, certificate. There's some permit numbers, date of issue, and um, the country of origin. So that's basically the certificate of the exotic skin and it's also on the receipt and i was told that if i ever travel to bring either one of those documentation uh, i asked if it's enough to just have a picture of it and they said that it should be fine so let me know if you uh, ran into this problem if you own any exotic skin uh, bags from Hermes whether it was okay to travel with uh, whether you had any trouble traveling with and whether you actually bring the physical copy of your certificate so yeah that's just something to note this is also the first bag that I revealed on my channel that is from Hermes and I just feel so good when I finally get a chance to buy a leather bag from the house I do enjoy everything that the house has to offer but at the end of the day I I want to experience their leather goods as well so this is uh, such an amazing way and such an amazing color and combination leather combination to uh, experience their leather goods folds like I said earlier they are just natural folds because of how this exotic part which is a rigid handle 
uh, a more rigid handle anyway compared to the regular version so it just gives it a natural fold or you know you can call it crease I guess and it just pulls naturally from the four corners which I actually think that it's so pretty it just gives the bag a little bit more of a character uh, of course it's like I said still brand spanking new which is why I love having the organizer in it and as you can see the organizer has already molded to the sides of the bag the Chanel just has more of a um, it, it's a little bulkier actually the Chanel and also with the Chanel it's even more structured right like the top it's all um, it's all caviar it has a shorter handle um, it's a different look for sure and I feel like as much as I love the Chanel, especially with the long strap, which is beautiful, uh, it's just, there are just some days where I just want to be even more understated. Like this is so, like if this one has a cool f coolness factor to it. I really did, uh, did sort of fall in love because of that reason. Uh, the Chanel is great because it's a Chanel uh, and it's a really nice bucket bag for a seasonal bag. Uh, but for something that is you know kind of timeless and just simple i think this yeah this would work so well in the summer in the winter it still goes with the whole vibe and it still goes through you know th these sleeves are pretty large too right it's oversized it still goes through my crook of the arm i think you can definitely see where i'm coming from right the vibe where the where i feel like this bag not only looks elegant but it actually looks cool at the same time because of the exotic touch and because it's in black and palladium uh, i just think that it happens to work in its favor for this color combo i think it's also going to be quite easy to um, dress up and down in the summer with a summer dress so yeah i just feel like it's such a cool bag to own in this version even though that's not what i asked for but i do love it i i totally fell in love with this combo even though um you know it's black it's another black bag but i, I just love this black combo i think it's so so special it adds to it I definitely think that um, it was meant to be it's you know not what I asked for but I, I feel like it's even better it's just so it's so cool and those of you who own the picotin uh, especially if you own it in the touch in the 18 size if you ever get your bag wet or do you ever even get your bag wet because you know I was pretty much told that um, to never let my bag get wet so that's very very hard in Vancouver but if you own this bag especially if you own some exotic skin on your bag uh, from Hermes let me know how it's behaving for you like is it that sensitive is it is it do I really 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 need to avoid any any water at all like not even a little bit <laughs> so don't forget to check out Samorga's uh, website I will like I said, link the exact product that I uh, featured in this uh, video, especially this organizer for a classic flap. Very important to protect them. They are so crazy expensive, more expensive than Almez bags now, which, wow, it's just, wow, a very unprecedented. Uh, I will also link this exact one that I picked. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would really love to have you back. You can also further support me by becoming a channel member where you get extra exclusive content just for you guys. Have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.